Hi there, my name is Ethan from Mon Studios and today I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes on how we created the vault door from our latest miniature model, Locked and Loaded. So we started off by designing and 3D printing the vault door itself, then getting it sanded down and painted to give it a really like rustic, aged look to it. Once we had that all sorted, we then cut down uh, 12 aluminium shafts and placed those around the inside of the door, and then 12 aluminium rods, which would sit in those shafts and slide up and down. We got some miniature magnets, which then stuck to the insides of those rods. And the main idea behind the door is that we'd have an inner rotating shaft with opposing polarity magnets. So when it rotates, it interacts with the magnets on the shafts and causes the motion. So once we had a bearing placed and an inner shaft running through the door, we could then add our 3D printed vault handle to the front of the model. So the idea is that when that rotates, the inner core rotates and causes all those shafts to rotate with it um, in differing actions. Locked and Loaded was definitely our most challenging project to date, um, just trying to combine all the mechanics and tiny details into such a miniature model, which is actually less than a shoebox in size, um, was pretty difficult. But I think the outcome was pretty epic and um, looks like a real vault would. So yeah, let me know if you want me to do more of these sort of breakdowns of models in the future um, and just show you how it sort of goes together and a bit more of the detail that goes into it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. It goes a long way. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Thank you.